Basement, How is everybody this evening? Tonight we're going to do a little, little review or little my take on this fire triton. Figured I'd wait till it needed a, a fill up. Now it needs a fill up. <laughs> uh, what I like about this this triton is if you take the top cap off right here. If you have any chuff caps, they'll normally fit right on there. Perfect. Good little snap in. All right. But I decided to go ahead and take a look at this on camera because it was time for me to fill it up. I'm using uh, crud from Hobo Vapes. Shake whale, six milligrams. Okay, shake whale. All right, now on this Triton tank, you're gonna have a a dot for a fill and a guy with vapor coming out of his mouth to fill it. Okay, you're gonna put your little arrow. You want your arrow pointing right down at the drip. You get your little bottle out, you know, whatever you're using. And just fill it up like so. Let me see. There we go. Let's go ahead and fill up. I like to fill it up all the way to the top. Sorry about that. Okay. And uh, be sure to close your juice. Bad things happen when you don't close your juice. Okay, now, if you own a Trident, or you've looked at them, if you've played with any for any amount of time, you've probably leaked a little juice on you. But, after you fill it, you turn it back over, until you see the guy's face blowing out the vapor. And that's going to close your holes, and it's going to open your air holes here. I think when you're when you're filling it, when you're filling it, you see how the the damn it, see how the air holes close, and then when you open it, it opens that airflow. Then you can, can see the aspire written on the coil. Then you just pop back on your. Top cap there, like so. And what I found with this is, I like it pretty good. It's um, see, I got it running at 30 watts. Well, after you let it know it's got something on it again. You can go from 30 watts, and then you can turn it all the way up to 80 watts if you want. A lot hotter, right? More flavorful. The more heat you have in it, the more you turn it up wattage-wise. But if you want to say battery power and all that stuff, you can go back down to. I put it on 35. That's a pretty good little. Yeah, but you know that's my first look at the uh, Aspire Triton. I'll give you a two week update of what I think about it in two weeks. But I figure I figure it's gonna be a pretty nice little take here. 
Anyway, big shout out to Mark Owens. Appreciate you letting me check it out. I'm giving you my thoughts on it. But I'll let y'all get back to y'all's day. Have a good one.